Hey, it's Molly. Today on Frosted, I'm gonna be making some Meyer Lemon shortbread wreath cookies. This festive spin on a holiday classic pairs citrus and herbs to make a delicious holiday treat. Let's get started. First, let's make the dough. This is a very classic, easy shortbread recipe. Start with room temperature butter, and to that, add some confectioner sugar, and beat until nice, light, and creamy. While this is creaming, start zesting your Meyer lemon. Meyer lemons are so fragrant. They're floral, bright, citrusy, but less acidic than regular lemons. Add it to your butter and sugar mixture and cream until combined. Next, you're gonna add your lemon juice. And lastly, add your flour, all in one go. This is a super easy recipe, very few ingredients, no eggs, and the powdered sugar gives you a nice crumbly texture that melts in your mouth. You wanna mix this just until it comes together as a dough. And just like that, your dough is done. You're looking for a dough that's come together, completely combined. Wrap your dough in a rectangle, put it in plastic, and get it into the fridge to chill. Our dough is nice and chilled. It's time to roll it out. Let's start by dusting our surface with some flour. You wanna be a little liberal here. You don't want any dough sticking. I also like to kind of dust the dough a little bit on its own first as an insurance policy. And if any point your dough gets soft, put it back in the fridge. Another trick I like is to always move your dough around every few rolls to make sure that nothing is sticking. We're looking for about a quarter inch thickness. All of this lemon zest in here is nothing but flavor. We're gonna start cutting. For these wreaths, we're gonna use a three inch fluted round cutter and a one inch round cutter. So we've got 12 here and we're gonna re-roll our scraps. You can re-roll your scraps once and your cookies will still be nice and crumbly. If you roll them another time, they're gonna be a little tougher. Once you've cut your rounds, get them back into the fridge and make sure that they're firm before we cut the center so that they hold their shape. 20 minutes later, they're nice and firm to the touch and you're gonna take your one inch cutter and get them right into the center and push down. And don't you dare throw these away, these are a delicious snack. Now that we have our wreaths all nice and cut, we are almost ready to bake, but they need to be firm to the touch, so get these back into the fridge for about 30 minutes before baking, rotating halfway through to ensure even browning. This next step is where the fun really begins. I'm going to show you how to sugar rosemary and thyme to turn these cookies into beautiful, festive holiday wreaths. Start off with some rosemary. Using your hands or scissors, you wanna pick off small little pieces like this no bigger than one inch. With a little paintbrush, dip it in some egg white and paint these leaves with a nice thin coating of egg white and then sprinkle them with some sugar. And set them on a rack to dry. Now for the thyme. I like to use the very tips of the thyme. I think they're easiest to work with. You wanna just pinch them off and same thing. You wanna paint with some egg white and this is just one egg white that I mixed a little to loosen it and some granulated sugar. Give it a nice generous sprinkle and let dry. How genius is this? Once you've got a nice tray filled with sugared herbs, it's time to set them aside, let them dry for about an hour until they're nice and stiff. This last step is making our super simple Meyer lemon glaze. Powdered sugar, Meyer lemon juice, into a bowl, and whisk. 
Meyer lemons are sweeter and more floral than your regular everyday lemons, and they also are less acidic, giving this glaze a really nice sweetness without all that tartness. You just wanna whisk this until it doesn't have any more lumps in it and all the powdered sugar has dissolved. You're looking for your glaze to have the consistency of craft glue. You want to be able to see it, but you don't want it too thick. Our cookies are baked and cooled, our glaze is ready, our herbs are sugared, and we are ready to wrap this up. Take your cookie and dip it just slightly into your bowl and let the excess glaze drip off. Voila. I like to dip a few at a time, decorate them before the glaze sets. I've got some cute little sprinkles here. And lastly, our sugared herbs. Our Meyer lemon shortbread wreath cookies are set. They are beautiful, almost too pretty to eat, and guaranteed to impress at your next holiday gathering. If you want more content like this, be sure to like, subscribe, ring that bell, and share.